Well, sure, people in Vancouver were rooting for gold, but in this city, many were also hoping to see something else, a bit of green. So, did the games deliver a financial win for small businesses around town? Duncan McHugh went looking for the answer. Faster, stronger, and at Vancouver's Olympics, definitely higher. Welcome to the Vapor Lounge, where clients bring their own marijuana and rent a table for $5 an hour. The wait list, three hours long. Brought me to here and come to get involved in the party, the Olympic hype, you know. <laughs> Indeed, spirits and sales are high at Cannabis Culture Headquarters. No trouble from police, says infamous pot advocate Mark Emery, and tourists from around the world. The weed dealers around town are selling out. They're just selling all the weed. There's an endless, and they're doing just hand over fist business. They're selling lots of pot. The view, less rosy, still upbeat from Harjinder Ajla's taxi. The downtown has uh, been very vibrant. Uh, haven't seen this many people before in Vancouver. During the day, record numbers crammed into transit instead of cabs, but a bump in nighttime customers keeps Ajla waving the flag. I am a Canadian. I do sport Olympics. Uh, it's besides the point that uh, we didn't get a, enough business out of the Olympics. We drive past the Olympic cauldron where the spectacular view is attracting hordes of visitors. Next to it, exclusive multi-million dollar condos not even built, but the developer capitalized on Olympic hype. So this is the... Uh the formal living area, as you can see. Marketer George Wong is showing me a 6,000 square foot penthouse, much like the ones he's selling. This is the kitchen. It's a niche market, to be sure. A customized oversized barbecue here. That's a barbecue. Yeah. But since the opening ceremonies, he's sold seven units, including the $22 million penthouse. We're really taking advantage of uh, the attention that Vancouver has gathered in the last few years as the most livable part of the world, most beautiful, and of course the two-week window of the Olympics here. No pot of gold to be found at one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Turns out visitors have been spending on sports, not arts and crafts. The hype was huge, but it was very difficult to find a crowd that would be interested to buy. I don't know, maybe they spend a lot of money on the events themselves. A lot of people are looking for logoed merchandise, you know, and maybe they don't know what, what else is available outside of the major venues. Back at the Vapor Lounge, the party's not over. And people are going to really regret that it's kind of over in a way. <laughs> because now we have the tab to pay, and it's probably going to be a big tab. And it was a great party. No, he's yeah. in the background, so he's not in there. As the supposed two-week economic boom draws to a close, pretty clear. There have been hits and misses. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.